Now we will come on to next operation. How to delete the objects from the transport request and then how you can delete a transport request. Suppose we'll go for now again one requirement. If you remember in the previous videos, we created a particular table. That table is for vehicle allowance. That table is for vehicle allowance. And at that time, we created two domain, two data elements. Suppose, but customer is saying they want the label as employee grade rather than grade they want the label as employee grade okay along with this they want rather than vehicle allowance suppose they want vehicle allowances okay vehicle allowances is applicable or not it means they want us to add s and they want to change the field label here so what we will do We'll go for change. Suppose we will put employee grade. We'll go for employee grade. We will go for employee grade. We'll go for employee grade. Okay, suppose here I will put full employee. We'll go for save. I will just save. Now I will create a new transport request. Suppose changing the descriptions. We'll just go for activation of the data element. Now I will just go for other data element also. Now I will change vehicle allowances, 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 allowances. We will go for activating that domain and I will save into the same to same transport request. So we save the data elements into this transport request and this is our transport request. Now before releasing itself, but customer is saying, okay, now there's no need to go for vehicle allowance. Vehicle allowance is correct. I do not want S, but yes, I just want the grade. Okay. It should be employee grade. But in this request, we have the data element for grade also saved, data element for vehicle allowance also saved. Now, vehicle allowance customer do not want. So, what we will do? We'll simply, simply revert the changes first. So, we will go to SC11 and we will simply revert the changes first. I will go to this particular data element. This is the data element. They do not want that. Customer want us that they do not want S. It is okay. So I will go for activate. Now it means we only only need to send this grade data element to the other system. So there is no need to send this. So how you can delete the object from the transport request? If by mistake you created something wrong on that is not, I will say that is not used at all. And there's no need to go to other system. There's no need to send that object to other system. So you can delete that object from the transport request. So I'll just simply put the cursor and there is a delete button. You can put the cursor and there is a delete button. Now maximum people think that 
whenever they are releasing from the transport request, the object got deleted. This is never, never the case. Why we are deleting from the transport request so that it should not go to other system. But it does not mean that that data element deleted from the current system. If you see the data element is still there, data element is still there. Now we'll go for this point covered now, how to delete the objects from the transport request. Now, suppose customer is saying, okay, whatever is there is okay. I do not want any changes. Whatever is there for grade and this vehicle allowance, everything is correct. Do not do anything. So what we will do, we'll simply revert the changes first. I will just make it grade. I'll just make it grade. 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 Now, there is no need to send this request to other system because customer is saying now, now there is no need for all these things. So we will simply, simply delete this transport request because there is no need for this transport request. So if you want to delete the transport request, so firstly, you need to delete the objects of that transport request. So firstly, we will delete the objects. We will delete this object. Because I cannot directly delete a transport request. Firstly, I need to delete the object, then I need to delete the subtask, then I can delete the main request. Because as of now, there is no use of this transport request because we are not sending to other systems. So we'll simply delete the subtask. Now we can delete the main request also. So if by mistake or for learning purpose, you created the transport request, and you do not want that transport request. So this is the way you can delete the transport request also. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, again, we covered three important operation. How you can add the object to the transport request. Just select. There is a include object button and you can add the objects to the transport request. If you do not want any object to go to the other system, you can delete the specific object also from the transport request. If by mistake or you created some transport request or you do not want that transport request to go to other system. So in that case, you can delete the transport request also. So how you can delete? You have to firstly delete the sub or you have to firstly delete the objects of that transport request. Then you can delete the subtask and then you can delete the main task, main request. But never think, and this is a wrong assumption that if you are deleting the objects from the transport request, it does not mean that the objects got deleted from the system. They only are not the part of the transport request because we do not want them to import or go to the other system because it's, a, it's of no use that they should go to other system. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.